Hi viewer, I welcome you to Elim TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form one, lesson number 21. The topic it is field work. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mudong. Welcome. Uh, our lesson goes today, we are going to look at the definition of the field work and the types of the field work and also the importance of the field work. We start by looking at the definitions. Now, when you look at the fieldwork, a uh, fieldwork it is defined as activity that involves the seeing and using of environment around us as laboratory for the teaching and learning of geography. Remember, we said that the practical bit of geography it is done in the environment, not in a room. It is done in an environment. So the purpose of the fieldwork, it will assist the teacher and also the student when it comes to the teaching and learning of geography. That is the fieldwork. It is a scientific method of study that enables geographers and other researchers to uh, use the available natural and human-made phenomena to understand the environment better. So there is now the scientific method of studying that enables uh, anybody who is conducting a research, anybody who is doing geography, to understand the available natural and also the human phenomena in the environment. Um, Fieldwork allows the learner to interpret for themselves what they see and to confirm the fact and ideas they acquire in classroom. So after they cover a, tof a topic, that is when to they go to the field. And whatever they see, it is to confirm whatever they have been taught in class. It is one of the activities that makes the geography a practical subject. Remember we said geography is a practical subject or it is divided to the practical geography. So the fieldwork, it is one of them that makes geography a practical subject. The activity may be conducted within the environment around the school and sometimes far from the school. So it can be within the school compound, just adjacent the environment, that is where the school is. And also it can be conducted very far away from where the school is. Let us look at the different types of the field. We have three of them. One of them, we have the field study. Number two, we have the discussions. Number three, we have the field work research. Let us look at what they entail. We start by the field study. Field study is aimed at collecting data in order to achieve specific objectives. <coughs> These objectives are formulated and clearly outlined by the researcher before the study. So you make this that this um, objective, you formulate them, and then you outline them before you go to the field to make the, the field study. They are expressions of what the, 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 the person who intends to conduct the study want to get. The outline, what do I want to find out during the field study? So that is what we refer to them as the formulation and the objectives. The study is conducted by an individual, so it can be an individual person or a group of people. For example, when you take a class of students or a, a, a class in a certain school and then you take them for their field study, this is a group of students. But a situation where now one goes to the field to conduct um, information, statistical data, uh, you get individual data. It is based on a specific theme. Go to the discussions. An discussion 
uh, or sightseeing outing. Sightseeing outing. Many aimed at relaxing the people involved. Just relaxing. It does not require the formulation of objectives or correcting the data. It is, however, possible to conduct a field study within an excursion. The other one it is the fieldwork research. The fieldwork research is a problem solving activity. It is study conducted by experts in their respective fields of specialization. For example, when there is a disease outbreak affecting livestock in certain area, the veterinary officers who are experts in that field go to the area affected by the disease and then they make the study. They want to see what are the causes, how can we cover it. So the, that is the, the fieldwork research. The main aim is to identify the cause of the disease and come up with the possible solutions to the problem. Importance is, um, when we talk about the importance, one, it assists the learner, or it helps the, the geography to, it assists the learner to apply the skills learned in classroom uh, to be to the real life situation. So you are able to apply whatever you have learned, those kids in the real life situation. Number two, identify specific problems that they may require geographical investigation. So they can be able to identify other problems that may require geographical investigation. Number three, study geography, geographical phenomena and processes like faulting, mass wasting, so as to understand them better, so they are able to understand the concept better. Number four, identify and categorize factors and features of given geographical phenomena so as to be able to record them for the use now and in future. Number five, it breaks the monotony of classroom teaching. Learning become more vivid and realistic. Thinking and use observation skills to reason logical and make objective judgments. That is, the use of geographical techniques of gathering, analyzing, presenting the data so as to perfect the skills of observation, expression, reasoning, and making of independent decisions. Then they are able to be to familiarize with the environment which they live by training them to acquire the appropriate attitudes, skills, and knowledge. Finally, the draw local skills from their own interpretation and observation. Activity, state three types of fieldwork. Number two, explain four importance of the fieldwork. Reference, you can refer from the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book Web. You can contact us through the SMS. You can also get us from the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook. You can also get us through the Twitter. Stay tuned to Ring TV. Thank you.